What's up guys, this is going to be a nice and simple tutorial teaching you all how to make your first Beyond map. The first thing we need to do is set up the graphics for the map. To do this we're going to click File, New and then choose Icon File, give it a name I'm calling this one Grass. Once you've done that you'll be presented with Dreamseeker's Icon Editor. From here we need to click the Palette button. Then all we need to do is fill the tile with some colour. I'm going to pick a green Use the flood tool and fill the tile. Done. Once you've done the grass, you'll want to make three more icons. Water, a wall, and you'll also want to make an icon for your player. Now we have all the graphics we're going to need for the map. So what we need to do is create another new file, and this time select a map file. And again, give it a name. Once you click OK, you'll be presented with these three options here. X is the width of your map in tiles, Y is the height of your map in tiles, and Z is the number of levels, or number of different map areas. Click OK, and you get this. Right away you can see we can't actually do anything with this map. In order to fix this, we need to do a little bit of coding. And don't worry, it's going to be nice and easy. So just go File New again and this time select code file. We're going to do what's called define the turfs. Simply type turf as I have here and then press enter and then tab to indent the line. We're going to define the grass first so just type grass as I have then press enter and tab to indent the line once more. At this point we're going to tell beyond what icon to use for the grass. So type icon equals and then type the file name of the grass. Be sure to put the file name between apostrophes, just like I've done here. You'll know you've done it correctly when you see the text change colour. Now go build and compile, and you'll add the grass to the map. Assuming you've got zero errors on the compile, open the map file, and you can see we've now added grass to the turf tree over here. And just before we test it out, we need to make sure your player has an icon so that you can see them as you move around the map. So do as I do and create a new code file. We're going to define what icon you have. So just type mob, press enter and tab, and then type icon equals, and just like before, tell beyond what icon file you want to use for this definition. Alrighty, we're ready for our first test. Compile and run your project. Dreamseeker will open up and you can play around in your new map. When you're done testing, close Dreamseeker and go back to the turf's code file. Repeat the steps you did for the grass and make a new definition using your wall icon. Compile your project, add it to the map, and when I run it, you can see something isn't quite right. That's because we need to tell Beyond that the wall definition is solid. So what you need to do is type density equals 1 for the wall, like I have. And then when I run it now, you can no longer walk over the walls, you bump into them. And now we're going to do the water. Go ahead and define it, just like you did for the grass. And we're going to have relatively realistic water. So what we're going to do is define a new area and call it water. We're going to use the entered and exited procedures to tell Beyond to react when a player enters or exits the water.
type the same that I have here and compile it again. Go to the map and lay the area on top of the water. Make sure you have the options set to frame areas as well or else you won't be able to see where you've put the area. So now when we run it you get this and that's it. You've made your first Beyond Map. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you next time.